वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज अ पोएम चाइल्ड हुड एंड इट हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम योर बुक हॉन बिल एंड दिस पोएम इज रिटन बाय मार्कस नेटन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील नो अबाउट द पोएट मार्कस नेटन इज अ नॉव इन राइटर हु इज बेस्ट नोन फॉर द बुक थीफ एंड द मैसेजर एंड इन दोनों बुक्स पे मूवी भी बन चुकी है जो कि ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है नाउ वी कम टू द पोम पार्ट This poem brings out a nostalgia. Nostalgia means memories of good old days. The poet is in a thoughtful mood and thinks of his lost childhood, the childhood which he has lost. He raises a question: When did my childhood go? Poet, a question भी यहाँ पे उठाता है बार बार throughout this poem that when did my uh, childhood go? He adds what he has understood of the adult's behavior and is criticizing that behavior also because he is not finding that behavior appropriate. He says that it was the day when he understood the difference between what the things actually were and what was taught to children. The poet here uh, says that maybe that was the day when I lost my childhood. Uh, the day on which i understood that the things were in reality different and the things were taught to kids differently there is a hidden pain of the poet which hovers around the lines some hidden pain is also there in poet's heart in the end his musing musing means thought his musing comes to a halt and he can see the innocence of childhood in an infant's face or end me poet declare karta hai that now i know where my childhood has gone and where he says he says it is hidden in an infant's face although he is an adult now he feels that the as the essence of childhood is always there in little children jo chote bacche hote hain hamesha hum sabhi unme apna childhood dekh sakte hain unke faces ko jab hum dekhte hain तो हमें अपना चाइल्डहुड नजर आता है द पोएट कैन ओनली गेट सेटिस्फैक्शन बाई सीन दोज इनोसेंट फेसेस ग्लिटरिंग इन प्योरिटी ही इज ओनली सेटिस्फाइड उनको अपने सवाल का जवाब दैट वेन डेड माई चाइल्डहुड गो का आंसर कब मिलता है जब वो इनोसेंट फेसेस जो होते हैं बच्चों की उसकी तरफ फोकस करते हैं तब नाउ एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द बोम the poet says here when did my childhood go he is asking a question in the beginning of the poem was it the day i ceased to be 11 ceased means stopped kya ye wahi din tha when i crossed the 11th year of my age was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography or it was that time when i understood that these two places hell and heaven can not be found in geography book they are not even on earth that is why they cannot be found in geography book was that the day i grew up now see here in this stanza childhood is given here human like treatment so here we can say that figure of speech personification is found and next you can see hell and heaven two opposite ideas are given in the same sentence uh, this uh, third one so here figure of speech antithesis is given okay jab uh, bhi question aayega figure of speech related you can answer this way so let us continue the poet says was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be was that the day पोइट कहता है कि जिस दिन मुझे पता चला दैट हेल एंड हेवन देर आर नो सच प्लेसेस दैट इज द रीजन दे आर नॉट गिवन इन जोग्राफी बुक ऑल्सो वॉज दैट द डे आई ग्रो अप वेन डिड माई चाइल्ड हुड गो दिस इज द सेकेंड स्टैंडा यू कैन सी हियर द सेम सेंटेंस इज रिपीटेड अगेन हियर सो वेन एवर इन अ पोम एनी सेंटेंस इज रिपीटेड ऑफ एन सो फिगर ऑफ स्पीच रिफ्रेन इज फाउंड देर ओके रिपीटिशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेज फिगर ऑफ स्पीच रिफ्रेन was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seem to be now poet continues says that was that the day i lost my childhood or i grew up the day uh, when i realized that adults were not all they seem to be jaise wo dikhte hain waise wo hote nahi hain why now he is giving the reason in the next line 
they talked of love and preached of love but did not act so lovingly the adults keep on teaching us that hame sabhi se pyar se rehna chahiye sabka samman karna chahiye but in reality they do not act so lovingly was that the day i grew up was that the day i lost my childhood next stanza number 3 when did my childhood go again you see the line is repeated so we can call here figure of speech refrain was it when i found my mind was really mine was that the day i grew up when i realized when i understood that my mind was my mind to use whichever way i choose and i can use it however i want to use it main jaise bhi chahu apne mind ka use kar sakta hu was that the day then poet continues producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone so here poet says that ki kya ye wo waqt tha jab mujhe samajh aaya ki my mind was really mine and i could use my mind the way i wanted to use jaise ki i could produce my own thoughts kya ye wo din tha jis din mera childhood chala gaya ya fir main bada ho gaya now see here in this line the term which is written it is producing thoughts so production ka kaam kiska hota hai machines ka hota hai and uh, thought production ka kaam kiska hota hai mind ka hota hai so in a way here mind is compared to a machine so here we can see that there is सम सिमिलरिटी बिटवीन माइंड एंड मशीन एक हिडन सिमिलैरिटी है सो विच फिगर ऑफ स्पीच विल बी हियर इट विल बी मेटाफर ओके मेटाफर टू थिंग्स आर कंपेयर एंड बोथ द थिंग्स शुड हैव सम हिडन सिमिलरिटी तो इस हिसाब से यहाँ पे हुआ मेटाफर बट माई ओन एंड माइंड अलोन सो पोइट कंटिन्यू करता है क्या वो दिन था जिस दिन मेरा चाइल्ड हुड चला गया जब मुझे पता चला कि मेरा जो माइंड है वो मेरा खुद का है एंड आई कैन प्रोड्यूस थॉट्स ऑफ माई ओन मैं खुद के दिमाग से काम कर सकता हूँ मैं खुद के विचार रख सकता हूँ जो कि सिर्फ और सिर्फ मेरे होंगे वॉज दैट द डे इन द पोइट सेज वे डिड माई चाइल्ड हुड गो टूअर्ड्स द लास्ट टेंजा पोइट यहाँ पे अपना सवाल थोड़ा सा चेंज करता है एंड ही इज आस्किंग वेयर डिड माई चाइल्ड हुड गो इट वेंट टू सम फोगॉट इन प्लेस एंड ही हिमसेल्फ इज आंसरिंग हियर ही हिमसेल्फ इज गिविंग आंसर टू हिज क्वेश्चन दैट माई चाइल्ड हुड हैज गॉन टू सम फोगॉट इन प्लेस दैट इज हिडन इन एन इन्फेंस फेस और खुद ही बता रहे पोइट दैट एट विच प्लेस माई चाइल्ड हुड हैज गॉन इट इज हियर इन सम इन्फेंस फेस दैट्स ऑल आई नो एंड दैट इज वॉट आई can understand that where my childhood has gone so now we know that this poem is having four stanzas and in first three stanzas the poet is asking here a question that where has his childhood gone and towards the end of his this uh, poem he himself is answering his question that it is hidden in some infant's face now we'll quickly revise the poetic devices used in this poem so first we have rationalism rationalism wahan hota hai jahan pe rationalize ki jati hain cheeze tark lagaya jata hai like the poet here rationalizes the lost childhood when he was 11 and when he found out that hell and heaven don't exist and even they cannot be found in geography book as well because obviously there are no such places he says was it the day i ceased to be 11 was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography second we have a rhyming scheme the rhyming scheme of this poem is a b b c c d next we have refrain refrain is a figure of speech in which we find repetition of phrases or sentences in the poem like in this poem which line was repeated it was when did my childhood go this one was repeated and was that the day this line also was repeated so here we find the figure of speech refrain in this poem next we have antithesis antithesis is a figure of speech we find whenever two opposite words or ideas are placed in a sentence like heaven and hell these two opposite ideas opposite words are kept in a, the same sentence so here we find figure of speech antithesis next we have alliteration alliteration actually is the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of closely connected words 
तो ये जो साउंड यहाँ पे होता है ये होता है स्पेशली कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड ओके कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड वेन रिपीटेड एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ क्लोजली कनेक्टेड वर्ड्स देन वी से दैट एलिटरेशन इज देयर फिगर ऑफ स्पीच एलिटरेशन लाइक द टाइम सो टी एन टी माई माइंड एम एन एम विच एवर वे देन टी एंड टी हियर सो वॉट वी हैव एलिटरेशन next figure of speech is inversion which is found in this poem when the subject verb order is reversed generally kya hota hai subject plus verb plus object jo ki is line mein reverse ho gaya like jo subject hai that should come first it is here given towards the end of the sentence to whichever to use whichever way i choose so here figure of speech inversion that was all about this poem thank you everybody for watching mm -hmm.